the system. Unfortunately, today Calum was not able to be here with me to do this video, so I will demonstrate both parts of our project. So now I'll do a quick rundown of the hardware side of our project. So I made a PCB board from my original breadboard design, so we were able to have a physical presentation of our project. Um, I used um, ribbon cable in order to connect the RFID module that we got from Keatronics to the Raspberry Pi's GPIO headers. Um, I included an LCD that would allow um, the display of the current status of the scan, whether it is scanning or whether the card had been scanned successfully. On the side we have the Raspberry Pi, which we use to communicate with the PicX microcontroller. Um, we use the UART interface in order to have um, the communication using serial interfacing so we could get values from the pickaxe onto the Raspberry Pi and then able to interpret that and use it for our software. I'll do a quick demonstration on how the system works. Simply turn the power on. Very simple. You have a red LED telling you that it's currently scanning. And you can see the LED there. And you have the LCD screen displaying a welcome message and telling you that it's ready to be scanned. Simply swipe a card. You see the LED is went to green. And it gives you a message that this card was successfully scanned. Now I'll take you on a rundown of the software side of our project. As I said before, um, Callum Ford was not able to attend this filming, so I will give you, so I will give the instructions needed to operate our system. Once you boot the Raspberry Pi, you'll enter this menu, and simply you type Start X to boot the operating system. To start out the software that Callum had made, we enter the RFID boot folder. We run the initialize.python script through the idle environment. Here you can see quickly the code that Calm has made for our software, which reads and interprets serial data coming out from the um, from the pickaxe microcontroller. We run this module. And now it is ready to receive serial input from our attendance system. So let's take an RFID card that we've never scanned before or is not recognized into the database. We swipe the card and it gives us an entry form. As you can see here. It requests for your first name, your last name and your form class, which you'll input, let's say. You press submit, you are given a confirmation of um, the data you inputted, you press accept. Your form is now complete. So now that um, we have inputted data into the database, so we swipe it again and it gives you details of the ID, the ID of the card, whether you have a class, what period you're currently in, and the time which you scanned. Currently we set the Raspberry Pi to 736 to test out whether it would recognize if you were outside of class or not. And there it can tell you that the time is 936, I mean 736. 
and usually people don't have classes then, so it will tell you that you don't have a class yet. So we changed the time from 7 to 10, so for now we would probably have another class. And we scan card number 99 again. And then this one was registered to Calum, so what we do is we find Calum on our database and it shows up, it shows us that he has been, oh because we scanned it seven other times before, that he has now been present period four. And we also did tag 81, which was under my name, so now if we search my name, it shows us that I've also been present um, period four, I've scanned in four times. Um, so let's get another card that has not been registered yet, so we'll do this card. Let me opening it, so it's brand new. Yeah. So now we've opened a brand new card. We scanned before and we scan it. Entry form will automatically show up. Let's say check um, that. Okay. Full name Jack Bell and his form class will be PH. We have our data, I press accept, form complete. So now if we scan again, 72, and we search for Jack. He, now we see um, his ID, which is 72, name, form class, um, time of scanning in, in our database, and he has been present, period. You can also find them if you select um, here as well. It's all, this is um, a search method to find the information you want on the database. So I came up with a solution when one day I came into class and then I left and I got a note saying that I was absent for that class. And I started thinking that maybe this could be avoided if we had a system in which students can somehow get into a class and as they enter the room are able to be marked present or if they don't, if they don't walk in at all you can say that they're absent. And I know that this happens to more than just me because taking the role sometimes is a very hard thing to do as I can imagine. So the fact that you might have a very noisy class or any other external influences that might not get you marked present. So I decided to make this project that would solve that problem um, using the Raspberry Pi which we got introduced a few, a few weeks before I started this project and I actually found it quite interesting. And one of my friends, Callum, he, he knew a bit about Python and I knew that um, the Raspberry Pi used a lot of Python programming in order to create an outcome. And we got together and I talked to him about my problem that I had and we decided to get started on this for a project. And I, I find that it was really fun to make. It was because we went through so many challenges and we got through it in the end and I feel pretty proud of the project. The Raspberry Pi has um, been a really cool way of us getting into um, smaller technologies that have much more power and more potential to unlock in them. Um, and I find that making an RFID attendance system can help. There are many other uses that I've considered for my RFID system, such as job um, interviews, applications, maybe equipment signing possibly anything that really requires anything to be signed in or taken out, maybe DVD um, rentals or something like that. And technology like the Raspberry Pi really allows you to have smaller, smaller 
inventions that really have a lot more potential than they could before. And also, I'm very grateful to have Callum as a friend, because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be able to have such an intricate system running. His knowledge in Python has really helped us out quite a bit, as you can see that his programming and databases and all that stuff has been really intricate and very, very interesting to look at as well. He's taught me how to use a bit of Python as well, which is really cool because you get to learn more things along the way. And yeah, uh, I look forward to working with Cal more in the future.